Assalamu alaikum students welcome back to English class open your books to page number 20 so last class mein humne ye story padhi thi called free in the forest ab hum inki exercises karenge so let's start first is learn to read one underline the right word to complete a sentence about the story the first one has been done for you to hame inhone two options diye hain jo sahi wala hai hame use underline karna hai number 1 Juby lives in the forest slash village. Where does Juby live? Yes, in the forest. So, we will forest ko underline karenge. Number two, he falls into a river dash pit. Where does he sta- uh, Where does he fall? Yes, a pit mein. Good. Number three, Bhola and Bano are children slash elephants. What are they? They are children. Bhola and Bano are children. Number four, Juby is sad because he is in the forest slash cage. Yes, he was sad in the cage. You will underline cage. He was happy when he was in the forest and he was sad in the cage. Number five, the men slash Bhola and Bano opened the gates of the cage. So who opened the gates of the cage? Bhola and Banu, not the men. The men captured him. So the correct answer is Bhola and Bano. So you will underline it. Number six, Banu and Bhola are happy slash sad to see Juby go. Yes, they were happy. They were happy to open the gates and let Juby go. So you will underline happy. Good job. Now let's go to learn to read two. Talk about this. Why is Juby sad? Where does he like to live? Yes, students. Why is Juby sad? Of course, when your freedom is taken from you and you are locked in a cage. Look at him. He's locked in, in a cage and he was so happy in the forest. Where does he like to live? In the forest because he is free there. He can go anywhere he wants. And students, why else is he sad? Because he is not with his family. We discussed with the lion that he was with his family and he is in a forest. He's free. That, that is why he is happy and likes to live there because he is with their family. So Juby must be very sad in the cage because he's away from his family. He has family se dur hai. He has no one. Wo akela hai, right? So he also isn't free. You don't have to write this answer. We just wanted to discuss it. I hope ki aap, aap samaj kar ki why is Juby sad and where he likes to live. Now on the next page, we have this exercise, learn words. Draw a line from each animal to its baby. Now read their names. So you have to draw a line, you know, you will use a pencil and a ruler and make a straight line. For example, we have the first animal, tiger. What is its baby called? Yes, a cub. So you will draw a straight line from tiger to cub. Good job. Now let's look at the rest. Hen. Not puppy, not kitten, not duckling. Yes, chick. A hen's baby is called chick. So you will draw a line from hen to chick. Good. Now let's look at the next one. Cow. Cow ke baby ka naam kya hota hai? Yes, calf. You can even see from the picture ki calf looks like a baby cow. So you will draw a line from cow to calf. So let's see. What is the next one? Dog. Dog ka is so easy. It's called a puppy. Dog ke baby ka naam hota hai puppy. Draw the line. Next we have cat. Of course cat's baby is called kitten. Yes. Then we have duck. Yes. Duck. Duckling. That is its baby's name. Again draw a line. Now the last one is goat. Goat ke baby ka naam kya hota hai? Yes. Kid. So just draw a line. You can see from the pictures as well. After drawing lines you should read their names together. Tiger. Cub. Hen, chick, cow, calf, dog, puppy, cat, kitten, duck, duckling, goat, kid. Say these names a few times, okay, students, after drawing the lines. Move on to the next exercise. Look at the picture. Write words in all the boxes. So you are seeing that they have boxes and they have lined it. They have made a line from it to an object. So we have to write an object. You, you have just written six naming words or nouns. Naming words or nouns tell you what a person, animal or thing is called. So words like boy, elephant, hut and juby are naming words or nouns. This means naming words or nouns hum un words ko kehte hain jo hume ek person, animal or thing ka naam batai. Okay, for example, yaha juby. Juby is a noun. It is an animal. Yes. So same way, har ek cheese, for example, a chair, a boy, all of these things are also nouns. They are things. So now let's label this picture. 
Number one, first box is on Juby, right? It's pointing to the animal, it's pointing to the elephant, and you know his name is Juby. Now, number two. So you can see this box, is the arrow kaha point ho hai? Yes, it's pointed to a tree. You can see it's green bushes. That is a tree. So what do you second box? Mein kya tree. The third one is a box pointing to a house. Yes, it's pointing to a house. H-O-U-S-E, house. Then the next one is pointing to a cage. This is the cage that Juby was in. Cage kaise likhte hain? C-A-G-E. Yes, good. Then this next box is pointing to the boy. The boy's name was Bhola. Yes, so you will write Bhola. Phir next box kaha point ho raha hai? Yes, the girl. The girl's name was Bano. So you will write Bano. So let's see, these are the answers. Ye aap aise hi likhenge. And what are all of these? These are naming words or nouns. Now come to page 23. The next page has the exercise number 2. Which of the words below are the names of animals, people or things? Underline only the naming words. So naming words, humne kya parha? they are names of animals, people, people or things. So we will not underline adjectives or describing words. So from nouns, ko underline karenge. So let's see. Cage is a thing. Yes, it is a noun. So you will underline cage. What is free? No, free is not a noun. It is a description. It is a describing word. It is an ad adjective. So you will not underline it. Elephant. Yes, it's an animal. It's a noun. You will underline elephant. Per big. No, it's a describing word. It's an adjective. You will not underline it. Then you have house. It is a thing. Yes, you will underline it. Tree. It is also a thing. You will underline it. Next, bhola is a person. So you will underline it. It's a noun. Happy is a describing word. It's not an animal, not a thing, not a person. So you will not underline it. It is an adjective. Yes. Okay. It is not a person, not a thing. It's not a noun. Per gate. It is a thing. So you will underline it. So now, what are words underlined here? Cage, elephant, house, tree, bhola, gate. Six words up underline. Karenge. Okay, students. Why? Because these are nouns. These are things these are names of animals people or things now come to number three underline only the naming words or nouns in this list of words one has been done for you they have underlined elephant for us we know it is an animal and it is a noun yes then the next one is goes no we will not underline this goes is an action it is a verb it is not a noun then we have river yes it is a thing you will underline it it is a noun Again, no, it is not. It is just a describing word. It is not a noun. Pear aata hai banana. Yes, it is a thing. It is food. So, of course, you will underline it. Ye ek noun hai. It is a thing. Next, we have seas. Pear se ye ek action hai. This is not a thing or an animal or a person. It's not a noun. Aap is underline nahi karenge. Then you have stone. Yes, this is again a thing. To aap underline karenge. This is a noun. Then trunk again. It is a thing. It is a noun. You will underline. Wet and give are also not nouns. We will not underline nahi karenge. So in the end, number 2 or number 3, you should be like lagne chahiye. These are the words underlined. Now number 4. Complete each of these sentences given below using one of the words that you have underlined. So all of these words that we have underlined, kiye hai, we will use these as our hint box. Just hum karte hai. So part A. The dash goes to the river for a bath. Look at this picture. Yes, what is this? It is an elephant and it goes to the river for a bath. And also is elephant in our underlined words? Yes, underlined words may be elephant here. So we can write in the blank elephant. Good. Part B. The dash is a long yellow or green fruit. So let's see. In the words, which one is a fruit? Yes, banana. And is it long and yellow? Yes, it is also a fruit. So part B ka answer hai? Banana. Yes, good job. Now part C. Don't throw that dash. It will hurt someone. Yes, look at the underlined words. In me se aisi kaun si cheez hai, which if you throw, it might hurt someone. Not an elephant, not river, not banana. Yes, stone. If you throw stones, it might hurt someone. So part C ka answer hai? Stone. Don't throw that stone. It will hurt someone. Part D. 
The elephant picks up the banana with its dash. Let's see in the words again. Yes, trunk. You know that this part of an elephant is called a trunk. You know they do things with their trunk. Aapko pata hai ki ye apni trunk se cheese karte hain. They pick up a banana with its trunk. They use it to pick up water and shower with it. Yes, all these things they do using a trunk. So part D ka answer hai trunk. Good job. Now we have learn to speak. Read these words out loud. So let's read together. I will read and then you read after me. Okay, men. Men, yes, ten, pen, free, three, tree, sun, fun, one. Yes. Now let's read these phrases out loud. These short sentences. Ten men, three free trees, three free trees, fun in the sun. Fun in the sun. Good job. Read these sentences out loud. The ten men have one pen. The ten men have one pen. The three free men are in the sun. The three free men are in the sun. Good job. I hope you read them with me. You can read it yourself as well. After that, go to the next page. Okay, students. For number two, it is a pair exercise. So you will need two people. You can be person A and someone else can be person B, like your mom, your dad, or even a sibling, your brother or sister. Anyone to do this with. You just have to speak in English with them. So let's see. Person A will ask something like, "Where is the dash?" Now, what can the the dash be? It can either be the puppy, the crow, the lion, the horse, the cow. Okay, person A's job is. Where is the puppy? For example, any of these you can pick. Then person B's job is to answer, to say in the dash. So they can say in the kennel, in the den, in the cow shed, in the nest, in the stable. Now the point here is, for example, if you ask, if person A asks, where is the puppy? You cannot say that they are in the nest. No, puppies never be- go in the nest. Where is the puppy's house? Yes, the kennel. So, for example, if you ask where is the puppy, person B should answer in the kennel. They cannot give the wrong answer. So this way, you will learn the animals' houses. The lion lives in the den. The cow lives in the cow shed. The crow, the crow lives in the nest. The horse lives in the stable. Good. Do practice this exercise and follow the example. Now come to part D. When people meet for the first time in the morning, what do they say? What do they say when they are going away? Look at the pictures and read what they are saying. So they are teaching us greetings. Let's see. When you meet each other, when you see each other in the morning, what do you say? Hi. You say good morning, sir. Then when you are leaving each other, what do you say? Yes. You say bye. See you tomorrow. Bye. That is your reply. Then you also say goodbye. Goodbye, ma'am. And then at night, what do we say? Good night. So these are just common greetings. So number four, you can do again with your parents or anyone. In pairs, practice greeting each other and saying goodbye. Point to a picture and take turns to say what the people are saying in the picture. So you have to just practice this. Okay, you can say hi to each other, good morning, goodbye, good night. Just learn to be polite. Now look at the next exercise. Learn to write. Look at the pictures and write sentences as in the example. So look at this example picture. What is it? It's an elephant in a forest. Yes, look, there are trees around him, and you know from the story that elephants live in the forest. So, in number one, the sentence they have written is, "The elephant is in the forest." Same thing we have to do for the rest. So, let's look at the next example picture. What is the animal here? Yes, it is an ant. You know what an ant is. That is an ant. What is it in? It is in a bottle. ये ant एक bottle के अंदर है. So what will we write in the sentence? We will write the ant is in the bottle. Yes, good job. The ant is in the bottle. Now number three. Look at this. What is this? It is a box. And what is inside the box? Yes, a pen. So the sentence you will write in number three is the pen is in the box. Yes, good job. तो हमने number two और number three कर लिए. The same way we will do number four and five. So, is picture me kya ho raha hai? Yes, there is a house, and who is in the house? 
a boy yes so hum kya likhenge in the sentence yes the boy is in the house good job then number 5 there is a fish and fish is where the fish is in the water yes so what will the sentence be the fish is in the water full stop make sure to put full stops after your sentences so this will be your answers number 2 the ant is in the bottle number 3 the pen is in the box number 4 the boy is in the house number 5 the fish is in the water or you can also write the fish is in the river ओके स्टूडेंट्स अब हमारी पूरी टेक्स्ट बुक का काम हो गया ऑल ऑफ योर एक्सरसाइज आर डन सो ओपन योर नोट बुक्स सो फर्स्ट आपको पता है वी ऑलवेज स्टार्ट विद मेकिंग अ टाइटल पेज सो राइट टू डेज डेट एंड डे और उसके नीचे इंग्लिश पेज ट्वेंटी दैन इन द सेंटर यूनिट वन फ्री इन द फॉरेस्ट और उसके नीचे रीडिंग एंड एक्सप्लेशन डन नाउ टर्न टू अ न्यू पेज अब हमारी फर्स्ट एक्सरसाइज है हार्ड वर्ड्स जो मैंने आपको लास्ट लेक्चर में दी थी You know you write each word five times. First is lions, different, happier, forest, pit, cage, village, gates, box, free, goes. Now your next exercise is make sentences. तो आपको मैंने six words इस बार दिए हैं और उसके आप sentences बनाएंगे मैंने examples दिए हैं You do not have to copy. You can take an idea. So the first word is forest. मैंने लिखा है Juby lived in a forest. This is from your story. आपको ज़रूरी नहीं है कि आप सेंटेंस स्टोरी से लिए लें बट इंस्टेड आप खुद के बना सकते हैं सो नंबर टू जंप मॉम सेड नॉट टू जंप ऑन द बेड नंबर थ्री केज मैंने लिखा है एनिमल्स डोंट लाइक टू बी इन अ केज अगेन ये स्टोरी से आइडिया लिया गया है नंबर फोर ईट वी ईट थ्री टाइम्स अ डे फाइव वॉक वी वॉक इन द पार्क सिक्स अंडर शी सेट अंडर द ट्री सो यू कैन सी ऐसे ही कोई सेंटेंसेज आप बना सकते हैं वेरी ईजी वेरी सिंपल नाउ दैट इज़ योर एक्सरसाइज सी यू नेक्स्ट टाइम स्टूडेंट्स अल्लाह हाफिज़